Under the forecast, it's possible this evening for sure, depending on whether or not it hits progressive or not. Nobody can tell you that right now at 648 in the morning, but just know that you need to plan for some thunderstorms because you do have some pretty good uh, shots at it later on. Uh, yesterday, man, those home runs were going out. We talked about that breezy, that south breeze gusting to about 2025. 20, oh, yeah, saw it yesterday. This evening's games are going to be a little more impacted by rain, I think, but we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, looking outside right now, this is uh, from the crib, looking toward downtown, looking toward the skyline, looking beautiful right now. It's gorgeous. Feels a bit on the muggy side, though. Man, is it steamy outside. And we're looking at these pink colors. That's that ridiculously humid air. So we're all in that humid, sticky, just, just juicy atmosphere. When you factor in some of these numbers that are getting up there, it's that's up there for sure. That's that's into that tropical air mass range. 70s outside right now for temperatures, so it's already warm. You throw in the mugginess, it makes you sweat already. Once you get into the afternoon with the upper 80s in the forecast, it's going to feel like about 90. The only relief we'll see is if you get caught under some of these showers. There are going to be some moderate brief downpours that try to roll through, but I think most of it's just, just showers for the first half of the day. This is some heavy rain to the south. I already had some getting out of here, but this boundary as it gets closer we're going to increase our rain chances as we go showers for the next several hours and then into the late afternoon early evening hours that's when we get in on that heavier rain slow movers lightning some gusty winds but i think heavy rain and moving slow that combination is going to cause uh, well the potential for some some pretty good flooding High rainfall amounts with that. We'll keep a few storms in the forecast tonight, but not a ton. I think it redevelops again tomorrow with that boundary still around. So we're going to even elevate that flood threat even higher for tomorrow. We'll dive into that super seven day forecast.